What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at how to set up business units in Fusion. We're going to set up a location, we're going to set up a business unit, we're going to set the business unit's functions, ledger, and its default legal entity. We're going to assign access to the BU to a user's roles. We'll take a look at set assignments, we'll take a look at service providers for the BU, and we'll round everything out with a look at service client. So let's get after it. So let's start. Let's go ahead and create a location. create and we will give it a name alpha for alpha Reda. put in some address the zip code it'll automatically populate then you'll notice there's a whole bunch of uh, shipping and payroll stuff etc so we'll close out of that close out of that all the way and now we'll just search back up the location to have a look at it and there it is so let's close out of that. And now let's go over and to organizational structures. And now let's create the BU. And hit the plus button, give it a name. Very few details here. Essentially need a name, location, and a default set. You don't even have to put a location in, but do that for inventory orgs, etc. And the default set, we'll give it the common. We'll search up common. And there it is. And we will review it. Save and close. a BU. Next up, we have to give it the business functions. So let's search it up, the BU we, we just created. There she is. Save and close. So we set the scope. And now you'll notice all of these different functions that are there. First, we're going to assign the ledger. ledger will put in the default LE and let's just go ahead and checkbox all of these in general practice you'll only select the ones that will be applicable to this BU but I've checked them all off for the sake of it and now we have to go back and select that checkbox so that it can be used in a costing org Now we will assign access to this BU to the user, Bob Adams, and I'm going to do it for accounts payable. Let's search it up. There it is. And then let's add one more for receivables for Bob Adams. Receivables, BU, and same BU. Let's say done. So now let's go over and take a look at the set assignments. And in this particular case, it automatically assigned common set to all of these RDOs, reference data objects. So that's that. Next up, let's look at the service providers. And you'll notice it defaults for customer payments, payables payments, and procurement services right let's close out of that and now last but not least let's look at service clients same story payments payment clients and procurement client and that will wrap it up for the BU So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.